Mum went to London to run In the marathon we all wished to run As she went on out the door Good morning, thanks for coming back to my channel. It's the O2 look and it's London Marathon Day and I'm just walking down now to the route. I'm gonna try and cheer on as many of you guys as I can because obviously I've run this a few times and whenever I've run it, there's been people out there cheering for me. So this year I'm not running. I'm gonna get out here and cheer for you all. So have a good day if you're running. I really hope you smash all your goals and good luck. Let's go uh, see some of the action. I'm at my first cheering point. They're gonna come down here. This is somewhere around mile four, I think. And the elite women have already gone through. I've missed them. And I think probably the wheelchair competitors as well. But the elite men are gonna be coming any minute. All right, here's the lead cars. Oh, I've got a couple of paces in there. There's Kip Sang. second pace group. I can see Dowie Griffiths in there, one of the British hopefuls. I can see Callum Hawkins as well in the black and green. Woo! So Dowie's from Wales, Callum's from Scotland and they're both representing GB. Sort of more rapid club runners now. So they're not elite, they might have gone off the championship start and then some of them will be coming through off the good for age start. And these lot are fast. point of the race just after 5k the red green and the blue starts have already merged together and everyone is just settling in now really all the excitement of the start is over and they're now focused on their game plan lots of energy and they're all feeling great at this point
Martin.
So this is the St John's Ambulance Tent and basically if a runner runs into any trouble or injury or blisters or whatever they can stop in here. My best advice to you is if you're ever experiencing problems in a marathon, do stop and get help because the statistics are that about 99 or 95% of people who actually stop here and get help still go on to finish. Now of course there's no statistic about the people that don't stop who perhaps don't finish but once you're injured, you, you, your PB time's out the window, isn't it? So there's no point belligerently pushing on and hurting yourself. Stop and get help at one of these sort of places. And it'll make your rest of your race so much more comfortable.